So now we're going to look at the function 6 divided by x minus 2. So we're going to find some input output tables and calculate uh, the output value for some input values of x. So if I do 6 divided by negative 10 minus 2, that would be 6 divided by, and I can just put in here in parentheses negative 10 minus 2. Oops, and get rid of the plus. And that would give me negative 0.5. Here, um, if I put 6 divided by 0 minus 2, and again, I'm using parentheses because this division bar is a grouping symbol. So we do x minus 2 first and then take 6 divided by our answer. That gives me negative 3. So now 6 divided by 1 half minus 2. And that would give us negative 4. And then here, 6 divided by, and if I did 2 minus 2, if you notice, that would be 6 divided by 0, so this is undefined. So I'm going to put a mark there. And then lastly, 6 divided by 8 minus 2. And that gives us 1. So we're going to use graphing technology to do this. We can use graphing calculators. You could also put that in Desmos. So here I'm going to clear out what I have in Y. Just type in Y equals. And I can make that fraction bar here and just put 6. So if you press alpha X for the fraction, and then 6 divided by, and then I just put X minus 2, and then graph that. I'm going to go to Zoom 6, or the standard window. And I notice here, it looks like that. And at x equals 1 and 2, the graph kind of splits. So over here, at x equals 2 here, we have this part. And then also over here, we have that part. So one thing that I notice is x cannot be 2. And there's a reason there. This is what's called a, a vertical asymptote. But here, this value will start increasing forever, but never touch x equals 2. Same thing down here. It will decrease towards uh, negative infinity. The range will, but will never touch it over there. So the reason that that happens, if, if x equals 2, the output is 6 divided by 0, which is undefined. So that's why you have that funny stuff happening on the graph. So how would you describe uh, the domain of f? So you can just say x is any real number. but x cannot equal 2. So there's fancier ways to do that, too. You could say x, in set notation, you'd say x is an element of, here's a symbol for the real numbers, such that x is not equal to 2. That's another fancier symbol way to do that. That's more of a college notation. So another way uh, to say that is just on here, x 
کنار این موضوع